Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. We're going to be water cooling a Raspberry Pi 4 using a water block kit that I found online. Now I know what you guys are thinking. Why would you ever want to water cool a Raspberry Pi? It's not needed, right? But here's the thing. We're ultra nerds here and we're going all in. We want to see how far we can push this little computer. All right, let's take a look at the products we'll be using in this project. First up, we got the green EK Crow Fuel Coolant. This is what we'll be using to keep our Raspberry Pi cool. Next, we got the EKW EK Coolstream PE120 Water Cooling Radiator. This is what we'll be using to displace the heat from our Raspberry Pi. Of course, we'll need a Raspberry Pi to water cool. We'll be using the Raspberry Pi 4 in this project. We'll also need a pump to circulate the coolant through the system. We're using the Thermaltake Res Pump combo to connect everything together we've got some water cooling fittings and tubes we'll be mounting our raspberry pi to a crow pi which is a great way to get started with raspberry pi projects finally we need a funnel to get the coolant in our system and a pico power supply to power everything now we have our raspberry pi water cooling kit that i found online now when i got it shipped to me i noticed that it was broken it's the green uh, acrylic case the thing that gets screwed on is broken so I contacted the vendor and they were able to send me a STL file so I can 3d print the broken part all right so that's pretty much it for the products and now we're gonna be building a water-cooled Raspberry Pi hacking station that I'm sure you'll be impressed by all right so here is the Kali Linux page right now and I'm gonna scroll down to where it says Raspberry Pi 3 it's got the instructions here First thing we need to do is get a micro SD card with at least 16 gigabytes of capacity, class 10 preferred. We're going to download the Kali Linux image right here. So I'm going to click on this link. The one we want to download is this first one here. Install our images. Click on that. Uh, I'm going to click on the 32 bit version here. So I'm going to click on the one that says installer right here. Okay, so as you can see, it's downloading. I, I clicked on download twice by mistake, so I'm going to close that one. And it's downloading right now. Give it about, uh, I don't know, 5 to 10 minutes to finish downloading, depending on your internet speed. It's 3.1. Oh, so, sorry, it's 3.3 gigabytes. So I'm going to go back to the original page here. All right, so it's finished downloading. Now what we're going to do is uh, we're going to make sure we have our SD card connected to our SD card reader. It has to be a micro SD card, by the way, and make sure it's formatted. And if it's not formatted, use SD card formatter and format it. Then we're gonna use this thing right here. This is uh, the software that's gonna burn the image onto our SD card. It's called Etcher and it's pretty popular. We use it on our channel here occasionally. So I'm gonna select the image. So basically it wants us to navigate to wherever the image is. So that's the image we just downloaded. I'm going to click on open. Uh, it, it detected our device here and it detected our micro SD card right there. So now all we have to do is hit flash and wait. Once it's finished, uh, I'll be right back. All right, so it finished successfully. All we have to do now is connect it to our Raspberry Pi and we should be able to test it out any minute now. Alright guys, so I filled the loop, I connected it to this here. Now, I have the Pico power supply right here, as you can see. And I have everything connected, the loop is filled. So all I have to do is hit this button right here and we're good to go. So, let's test it out. 
All right, so the loop is working, as you can see. Right here, the liquid is moving, and it's moving through the entire loop, as I can tell. There are no leaks right now, so everything is working properly. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to turn this on, power it on, to see how cool we can actually get the Raspberry Pi and how efficient the water cooling setup is. We're going to run a few benchmarks, and let's get started. Oh, 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 oh,